Hello, hello. Welcome to Jojo Crosses. Today is day 25 of the 30 day challenge. So I'm really excited about that. We're getting close to the end. I'm excited to get my winter island started. Um, I did put out a poll today to ask you what you prefer on the winter island as far as do you like to watch from the beginning? Um, watching me like go through choosing an island and villagers and putting down the plots and all that um, or would you rather just skip to um, where I passed where I met three stars and I'm actually just doing the different build areas the design main designs on the island so if you don't mind going to that poll in the community tab or maybe it's on your for you page or whatever and just letting me know that would be great um, Today I am going to do obviously some of my dailies and then I have some dead areas I wanted to grab some items for and then I also have an area next to the museum that I wanted to spruce up a little bit make it look kind of pretty. Um, it's not really useful right this minute and the villagers can't get to it. I'm going to see about putting maybe an incline or two on that side of the island and go from there. So. Anyway, if any of that is interesting to you, um, hang in there and watch with me today. I would love if you guys would um, put a like down below. And also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel at all yet, welcome. And I really would love to have you as a subscriber. Um, we call our peeps the Jaywalkers because JoJo crossing, like crossing the street, jaywalking. Um, also now legal in New York, so just FYI, if you're wondering, you can legally jaywalk in New York. I bought a castle wall yesterday, which was super expensive. Um, let's go get our outfit of the day, because that is a requirement. And then I will come back to my home and pick out some stuff that I'd like to spread around. Ooh, hang on, i got to get my balloon. I don't know where it's going to... I'm gonna have to wait till it gets to a good spot here though because it's gonna get lost in the pumpkins Ugh. the struggle whoops the struggle is real and it, it could also oh it did it got lost in the pumpkins you guys I thought it would bounce over to me what a stinking shame <laughs> I think I've lost like three three or four good balloons in this game so far just trying to make my way through this 30 days and the struggle oh well I guess hopefully we'll try to get the next one <laughs> apparently I suck I don't know I I thought I was reading it right but I guess I wasn't oh there's Poppy I think it that's how we call Poppy anyways. Let's say hi to Sable, not to ignore this poor slave girl back here because she always says she's slaving. Oh yeah, hi Poppy, okay. Oh, if I was better at designs, I would change those designs back there, but alas, I am not the greatest, except if I copy someone, of course. Okay, well these little cardigans are cute. I like the little picnic shirt the gingham that's cute huh okay not bad choices today are these the tiny hat <laughs> yeah i don't like the tiny hat too much oh my favorite little straw hat is here though i'll take that okay uh these are dresses um let's see the little yellow dress is kind of cute and I look at I've got yellow and white striped socks on right now so that actually goes um, sort of I mean I know the combo is probably not the greatest but whatever all right looks like I'm either stuck with boots or I have to go with like these little leopard numbers <laughs> those do not look good with the socks or you know we can do the paws that's hilarious. Uh, I think we'll go with the yellow boots. I don't think they go really great, but I guess I could do the leopard and not wear the boots. I mean, not wear the socks with them. So maybe we can do that. 
Let's do the brown. I haven't done the brown. And then I'll take my socks off when I get out of here. All right, we'll just do that. That's a little more, a little more attractive. I feel like this is very loud. Um, I think it's just on my computer. Okay, well, let me take off these socks because they are looking silly. There we go. That looks a little more decent. And then I, here's my castle wall. I don't know what I was thinking getting this. I'm not sure where I would put it, but whatever. I, you know, behind the museum looks a little like, I don't know, sparse sort of. So that was part of the things I was going to do today is put a few things around that. Um, I have my little jumpy thing here. So let's go. Oh, I should have gone to Nook's Cranny and stuff. Oh, well, my brain is racing a mile a minute, you know. I'm just moving too fast and not getting stuff done. I put this in my little green room. This is where I take my pictures every day, like for my, you know, for my little thumbnails and stuff. So it makes it easier to take this, um, this girl individually, you know. Okay, I'm gonna put some of this stuff in here. I'm gonna grab some things out of storage and then I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I found Al sitting here just chilling out drinking his orange soda um no buns out right now so we're just chilling let's say hi to al <laughs> his faces are hilarious okay so up here um i kind of thought like the museum looks a little boring so i thought i um i grabbed these um porcelain vases that I got and I thought I would put one on each side just to make it look a little I don't know oh and I found this in this was being sold the bunny garden decoration was being sold in nooks the other day and um when I was time traveling and I was like what the heck I didn't think they sold that in there so anyways I bought a couple bunny decorations um now let's see back here i was thinking okay i have all this like going on over here which you can barely see but i thought maybe on this side oh red is here maybe i can go see red too um on this side maybe i would just put this castle wall and that would just you know add something back here i don't know oh maybe if i'm out of the way i think it needs a, a space whoops i think it needs like a whole space or something, whatever Okay, I don't, okay, I don't know if I can push that. There we go. I kind of just wanted to put it like near the museum so you could kind of see it. I don't know. I thought it added a little like, um, uh, I don't know, texture, whatever. Let's go see what Red has today. Um, he has not brought hardly anything good for me, so... Every time I go in here, I feel like it is either fake or something I don't need, you know, something like that. Okay, and his items over here. Oh, the little school books are cute. I might get those, but I don't know where I would use them at this point. Um, I always love this one. Let me see. I don't think there's a fake of the twinkling painting, is there? Let me, let me look it up really quick. Yeah, there is no fake painting of that, so I'm going to get it. Um, I don't have much art in the museum, not that it really matters, um, since we're almost done with this island, but I was trying to do what I could. Um, I meant to get the little books, but I guess I don't need them. That's fate saying you didn't need them anyways. <laughs> All right, then we're gonna head up here. This area is the spot that I wanted to work on a little bit today. Um, I'm thinking about putting a little incline right here where I'm standing, and then another incline right here so that the villagers can get up, or maybe here, one of the two. But um, in between there, I was going to make this like a little yoga um, place up here where one of the villagers could come up and just do a little yoga on the hill kind of thing. Um, so I am going to clear this space out over on this side. 
I'm gonna probably leave all the greenery on the other side. I might leave this little baby tree and one of these trees or two of these trees, but yeah, I'm gonna rip them out. Um, so let me grab my money and grab some of these cherries. Oh, it plucked, it really did pluck that flower, didn't it? All right, um, what do I have in my pocket? Yeah, except the orange ones that I just plucked, okay. Uh, let me see what I can do here because I need space in my pockets, um, and this is not going to be bowed very well. Um, on this side, I thought I would put up, um, my little telescope in a little mum cushion just to, like, set a little place for, um, you to come watch, you know, the stars and stuff. So, um, let me find that and I'll set this out. And then I thought, eh, maybe I'll put some bunny decor and stuff, or I'll, I'll put that on the other side. I need to do that too. But let's put our telescope out. That way we can look at the stars when Red's trashy boat isn't there. And then I'm going to put a little mum cushion, um, next to it just to give us somewhere to sit. I finally got that mum cushion um, DIY and I was able to bake those so I want to do that um, maybe maybe did I I thought I had a mum cushion oh my gosh how long am I gonna spend looking for one thing there we go but that's a cute little spot you can sit and look at the stars get up and stand in there and look in the little telescope you know cute cute Okay, and then on this side, that gives me a little room in my pocket to take a couple of these trees out. So let me eat those and get those out. Okay, I got it somewhat cleared out. Um, at least some of the trees moved over a little bit to make just this little clearing in the middle here. So I can't decide though if I want to do like some regular pathing and do a couple of like circles next to each other or what I wanna do here. Um, I think I will probably do some in-game pathing, make a couple of shapes or something like that. So let me put on my handy dandy helmet. I had to take some things out of my pocket because I was a little full here, so there's that. Alright, so let's do, um, I'm trying to think, maybe this little wooden path would be good and we'll put that because I feel like you know you would be on like a little wood floor inside your house or something like that you know or in a little gym area or whatever like that's kind of where you would be having a yoga session um, but I can't decide if I want to round it out or if I want to keep it square I feel like maybe I need it a little longer too we can go to this length. Yeah, I think I like it rounded, so let's do that. And then um, I want to try to get the little yoga mat right in the middle. So let me see what I have going on in here. Um, there's the yoga mat, and I'm just going with the color I was given in game. So you can walk on these but um, also do your little yoga poses. And then I thought here I will put down a cute music player and um, we'll turn that on to something relaxing. Let's see what we have here. How about Chill Wave? Does that sound like... Maybe chill life. Maybe let's see what forest life is. No, forest life has that weird. Oh, that's very vibrant. <laughs> I wonder if like. Most of these are just kind of... Yeah, 
Yeah, I think we're probably just gonna go with our chill wave. I kind of like that one the best. So go with that. And then I'm gonna put a little candle in here. Um, I, I brought a little glass candle. I thought that was kind of yoga-like, you know, um, bring in the peace kind of thing. Let me, let me just, whoops, move it over just a bit. Cause I want the villagers to be able to walk in here if they want to. And then um, I thought, you know, we need some plants. Uh, at least one or two plants just to make it lively up here and kind of peaceful. So we'll put that plant there and maybe back here I'm going to put this little, I brought a cactus. Yeah, a little mini cactus set. I feel like that, that brings life to the area. We'll move that in this way just a little bit. And then, um, oh, some fragrant sticks. So let's put those over here. <laughs> I'm just like trying to gather everything that I possibly could imagine that would be nice for a little yoga spot, you know. Um, especially since I'm a little limited to what I have on this island. So, um, and then the other thing is I can put down this flower. Have you guys done that before where you just place it and it, oops, and it comes with its own little vase? It's super cute actually. And you get different vases with all the different flowers. So um, let's see what this one comes with. Okay, that one comes in a cute little white vase. Let me pick this one and this one and let's see what those come in because I think I'm just gonna put these in the back and they'll be super cute. So that one comes in a little white straight one and then this one. That one comes in a little white round one, so cute. Um, I have made it so I can't get out though, however. I kind of want to move that off to the side a little bit. So let me pick it up and I'm going to move it like over here, I think, a little bit. I kind of wanted it to be like right here, but I don't know interesting okay and then can I move it that way just a smidge no I can't move it back maybe let me move it one inch this way and then there we go just so they're a little bit spread out I don't know I'm just trying to go with it but um that's cute for a little yoga area and then I'm going to do a few little um spots of just the little walkway so that people can see there's like some steps, you know, to get over here. So I'm going to put some of those down. I think I'll do that over here. And then um, we'll go this direction here. The sideways one. And we'll have it just kind of walk this direction. And then that is probably it for this side. I will probably put a few more... Uh, bushes and plants up here just to make it look a little nicer and then we're gonna take this all the way over to this little spot um, where this little guy is and then we'll go up from here um, that way you can you know you see you got a couple ways to go so that'll take that up that direction And then I've got to go get the incline. So then we'll figure out where that's going to go from there. So let me go do that. I'll be right back. Okay, I just got my incline. So now I'm going to go over here and first of all, look and see what's in the little nook stop. Um, so let's see. I have... What do I got here? books, the elephant slide. Yeah, nothing I need. I really don't like that metal song either. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have heard that one, but boy, is it loud. Like, um, I forget one of the frogs, the red one, um, Drift. He has that one in his house. And when I walk in, I literally get a headache. So look how much money I have saved you guys. Um, 
I'm going to take out an extra 60,000 bells because I have to pay off this incline, which is 128,000. And then I want to have a little leftover in my pockets for to see what's over in Nook's Cranny. So let's go over there next and let's see what's in Nook's Cranny. Oh, I got a tatami flooring. Okay. I'm not sure if I'll use that. I'll probably end up selling it for some dough, but... Anyway, I went and sold like all my outfits that I have um, used this entire time the other day and I made like, uh, probably like 100,000 bells just on all the outfits that I had to sell back. <laughs> it was a ton actually, because I have changed every single day and some are duplicates and stuff, so it's kind of crazy. Okay, there's nothing good in here today. What a bummer. All right, nothing good in here. So um, definitely moving on out of here. Nothing I need, so yeah. We'll go back up to the cliff and I'm gonna go put this incline back. So I'll be right back. All right, I placed my first incline down here so that the villagers can get up to this little spot. So now I'm just gonna pay off Lloyd and get this one paid off. And then what I'll have to do is just time travel to the next day. Um, oh, I should've just put as much as possible. I don't know what I'm thinking here. Anyways, so I'll time travel and then I'll put the next one up because I need to do another one up at the top. And I kind of like when they can line up, so I'm going to try to see if I can make that happen or at least be close to one another. That would be cool. But um, yeah, we'll see about doing that part. I took down my vine, but I won't need it if I time travel to tomorrow. Um, but before we go do that, I wanted to go put a few more things down. On my way over to Nook's, Maple asked me to go. I told her no. <laughs> she is not allowed to leave. She's a keeper. So um, she was declined, but you know, they're always happy when you tell them no to. So I don't feel bad about doing it. Um, let's see here. So on this beach up here, I've always felt like it's a little lacking. So, you know, like it's missing some things. So um, I made some things for it. Uh, first thing was the shell table. I was gonna do a color, but then I thought, you know, I don't think it really goes. And with the white lighthouse in the background, I think the shell table just looks cute the way it is. And then I thought, you know, I'll put a little chair over here um, just to um, give them somewhere to sit. I don't really have any shell chairs. So this one will have to do, yep. And at least it gives them somewhere to sit. And I actually will go grab some more things to put on the table, but I had run out of items, so. And then I thought this little flamingo was cute and I'll put the flamingo like here. Um, maybe not there, maybe over here, Miss Flamingo. And I don't know if I can move it back one. There we go. And then turn it. So that's kind of cute, you know, just something. And then I thought up here, um, in this spot right here, before you get up to the step, I'm going to put this little shell fountain. Oh, maybe I'm not. Let's see if it'll fit. I'm just standing in the way, I think. It's not a very big item, so I didn't think it would take up that much space. And then if I push it this way, so you can still walk by, and you can still walk by this way. Yeah. So I thought that was cute and kind of a little thing to go by when you go into your movie, right? So just a little little decor on the beach so it's not so boring. Um, and then I have this shell bed, and I thought, you know, well... If I can find a place up this way to put it, I'll put it up here, but I don't know where it's going to fit. I have the little beach area. I've got that. It's kind of a big item. I guess uh, maybe I'll use it elsewhere. I don't think it's going to work over here. Uh, and then, um, oh, I have this oil barrel. And I was going to put that up here by the boat stuff, you know, just in the background. Like a little something something back here. As a little space filler kind of thing. There we go. Because, you know, <laughs> hazardous waste and oceans and things. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 
And then um, I've got some piles of leaves. This creepy skeleton I thought would be kind of cool to go over by the museum. I should have done that while I was over there. But I'm going to saunter back that direction and put the creepy skeleton. I'm just going to put it like on the ground kind of thing, you know, nearby. So um, why am I going up here? This is not the way. This is not the way. Just like, um, oh, yeah, it's just not the way. Okay. This is the way. <laughs> Star Wars. This is the way. I'm a huge Star Wars fan. I don't know if you guys know. If you look on my thumbnails, I've said this before, but my thumbnails all have a Yoda in them. He's playing hide and seek. He's in there somewhere. And he will be on my island if you come to the dream address, hiding here somewhere. So um, here's where I thought I could put the creepy skeleton back here. Oh, he won't fit. Let me back up. Let me try it. Oh, what are you thinking about now, Al? I already told Maple no, so he probably wants to come to my house or do something there. Oh, you can't even see that. What the? All right, well, that was very uneventful. Let me see if I can bake it in the corner, maybe. I don't know if it'll work. But I'm trying to get it where you can kind of see it when you come around the corner kind of thing. Ah, yeah, like that, maybe. But then... See his face. Yeah. That's okay. And then if I can get out. Yeah. See that. So he's just kind of peeking out. So you're like, ooh, he's, they've uncovered a skeleton. Um, I need to get up here. I have my, I do have my ladder. All right. So um, what else was I going to do? There are some few more things. Oh, so I thought I would put a little something else up this direction. But I'm trying to figure out what would fit. I think we're kind of full with this stuff, so maybe I'll bring this on the other side. Um, yeah, because these, these aren't going to fit with all the trees and everything. I think that's going to be it for that top area. What did you want, Al? The buns are out, by the way. Buns are out. <laughs> oh, the plain do-rag. Was I looking for that? I actually do love the plain do-rag, buddy. That's my favorite hat in the game, but it hasn't been for sale in Abel's the entire time. And I can't wear it because... It's not part of my outfit of the day, so I'm kind of bummed out about that. But whatever, it's okay. Oh, I hear a balloon. Maybe this one will not go in the water. Let's see. Let's see if I can do it, you guys. I don't know if I'm capable. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. It made it. I also have not looked at my bubble gum. Where that? Oh, look at me. Okay, we'll choose some bubble gum for today. <laughs> um, I was just going to see if I had any new flowers, but you know, you don't really get new flowers if you don't water your flowers. So, and it hasn't rained, at least not that I'm aware of. So, it's a no, but whatever. I, I've tried on this island many times, but, and I've... I think I've done pretty good. I haven't quite gotten anything super spectacular. Like um, I've only been able to get one rose that's black and you need two in order to get a golden rose. Not that I really care about the golden roses, but I just thought it'd be cool if I could actually grow one myself before the end of the game, you know? But it's okay. I won't die if I don't have it. My 30 day challenge does not include that. It was just a personal little thing like, oh, what if I did that, you know? So there's that, but um, I found my gold spot too. Um, again, I'm not too amped up on doing this now because we're on, we have four more days left basically of getting this island in shape and then the tour is the last day. So yeah, there's not much else left to do. I've got just a few more things to get finished on this island and then we're gonna be all done. So the next day, 
Um, coming up on day 26, I'm going to be updating a few things. I'm going to do the waterfall area over next to the um, neighborhood and fix that up. And then uh, day 27 and day 28, I'm going to be spending inside my house. I need to create the kitchen and I also wanted to create my bedroom in there. So I'm trying to do that. And then on day 29, it's just the final touches of the island, cleaning up, putting down some extra flowers and things that need to be spread around and all that stuff. And then on day 30, um, we'll put out the dream address and um, do a final tour. And I'm gonna try to, um, to uh, get my design codes put in the hemisphere of the internet somewhere um not that anybody would really want my designs and honestly i mean dude these are just like copycats and kind of lame but um you know someone might want them who knows and like these ones you can find from much better people than myself this is a basic thing that you can find anywhere as well um I don't really think my honey is anything to shout about and same with the planks you can find those anywhere but I'm gonna put them out anyway just in case someone would like to um, borrow them steal them or whatever I will um, do that and then of course this was made by me but again I did copy someone else as far as how to do it and everything so it's not like it's anything special but I'll put it out there anyways, and that way you guys can look at it if you wish. Um, I think that's going to be it for today, though. Um, really, it was just kind of fixing up that little yoga spot up at the top and getting my incline in. I do have to fast forward to the next day to get the next incline in, but you, you don't really care to be there for that, I'm sure. And then after that, um, it's just a matter of, you know, finishing things up and getting those things we talked about done. So I really appreciate you guys. I hope that you've enjoyed this series. I have had fun doing it. Um, please vote on my community tab if you saw that and let me know what you would like to see on my winter island. And then also subscribe if you haven't. I'd love to have you back for the next um, series and the next videos. And just to come along with my jaywalkers and legally jaywalk. So you can always do that on this channel. You don't have to be in New York. So <laughs> anyways, thanks you guys so much. I really appreciate you. Have a great day and I hope everything's going good in your life. All right.